This is the Spirit and Wellness Show. News and information from a higher perspective. With your host, Harry Wilkinson. Yes, hello. Welcome to the Spirit and Wellness Show. My name is Harry Wilkinson, and this is the show where we take a look at the days and weeks events, happenings in the world, happenings in politics, happenings in uh, technology, entertainment, everything that we hear about throughout the course of our day and week uh, through our various forms of media which seem to multiply uh, uh, increasingly as we go along. Uh, everything from your tablets and smartphones to your social media and then traditional news outlets as well. Uh, we get bombarded with information I think the term they use is information overload. Uh, a lot of it is information that we, th we either can't use or uh, can't make sense of or uh, is simply uh, kind of stuff to uh, get your attention. Uh, but a lot of the information can feel overwhelming, sometimes even toxic, depending on uh, you know how bad the news is that day. So uh, you know what we do here is we take a step back and we look at everything from a higher perspective. And those of you who have heard the show before know what that means. A higher perspective is to look at what is going on around you in a mindful way. I'm going to use that term because uh, it's becoming more and more popular. People know what it means when you say mindful. But to look at what's going on around you without uh, any kind of fear or judgment or uh, any kind of uh, value even placed upon it uh, in terms of you know good, bad, uh, or even right, wrong, but to take a look at what's going on, what we're creating, and look at it uh, from the perspective of it being something we are creating. Something we are creating to have certain types of experiences that allow us to expand, to become more of who we truly are, and to reconnect with the truth of who and what we are, which is connectedness. Divine mind is a term I've often used on this program. Oneness. A oneness that goes beyond the uh, physical limitations that we uh, place upon ourselves in our limited awareness states. That's a term I think I'll continue to use. Limited awareness state. Uh, because uh, much of our lives is spent in that particular state, the limited awareness state. <clears throat> but it's when we expand from that limited awareness state that we become more aware of the truth of who we are <clears throat> and we look at what's going on around us with a greater sense of empowerment knowing that we can take from this situation and become greater than we were before. It's a, an a opportunity to expand. And it is an opportunity to become, as I've put in the title of this particular episode, woke. Woke. Now, uh, for those of you who have heard this term, are familiar with it, you'll know what I'm talking about. 
it's a term that's becoming more and more mainstream uh, but well it actually started with uh, probably african-american uh, 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 terminology <clears throat> slang uh, it's the idea of being aware now as it's often used in social media and uh, in you know in the media itself the term woke is often used to uh, denote uh, awareness of social problems uh, particularly awareness of, of uh, racism and its effects and uh, how it uh, affects uh, everyone uh, however I love the term because I think it covers so much more the idea of becoming woke is what I'm always talking about. It's the idea, idea of expanding awareness. Becoming woke is what changes things. Becoming aware, <clears throat> becoming expanded in our awareness is what changes things. You know, we don't change things through, you know, we don't even solve problems through politics. We don't solve problems through military might. We don't even solve problems through, uh, you know, financial, uh, uh, you know, gain or by throwing money at it, if, if you will. Every problem is a problem every so-called problem let's, let's put it that way every so-called problem is a problem that comes from consciousness if you will or perhaps lack thereof and when one becomes woke when one's consciousness expands that's the beginning of solving whatever you need to solve then the other tools are there to use uh, under the under the uh, tutelage of or under the uh, auspices of that awareness. So we have seen examples of, you know, mass wokeness recently that I've spoken of a lot on this program. These are moments when problems that seemed very entrenched long-term uh, difficulties rapidly become overturned changed seemingly overnight the two biggest examples uh, in past months and years that I can think of both of which I've spoken of in the show are the issue of gay marriage you know for years that was a very contentious uh, topic particularly politically if you were a politician you didn't bring that up and you certainly didn't make a show of support of anything like that uh, there were arguments about it you know that it uh, it sent a uh, a bad message that it uh, sullied the uh, institution of marriage for years and years I mean this this went on and then within the last year and a half two years people became woke a new sort of consciousness awareness started to dawn and all of a the sudden there's there was massive support in state after state after state for legislation allowing gay marriage seemingly overnight 
after years and years and years of contentiousness. That's the meaning of becoming woke. That's that tipping point where awareness expands. Another recent example is uh, the issue of Confederate flags and Confederate statues, which is still going on. For years and years, uh, particularly in the South, uh, Confederate flags were draped over uh, federal buildings, uh, on you know the back of pickup trucks, you know, all over the place. Uh, it was something, it was a trend that started back in, in the 60s, right around the time of the Civil Rights Movement. And it was a reaction to the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, unlike many claims uh, that, uh, you know, the, the Confederate flag was is a, sort of a memorial or, or tribute to uh, people's uh, ancestors and family history, uh, for, for the most part, before the Civil Rights Movement, before the 1960s, uh, the civil, the uh, the Confederate flag symbols, and even uh, even some of the statues uh, were largely forgotten. But when uh, the civil rights movement, you know, in, began in earnest and began to ensure rights for African Americans, and uh, began to make inroads against, uh, you know the kinds of discrimination, the Jim Crow kinds of laws that we had, or that the South had, <clears throat> you got a reaction from white Southerners. And part of that reaction was uh, to put up Confederate flags, to drag out the Confederate flags and memorialize their, their Southern ancestors who fought on the side of the Confederacy. Uh, and uh, these flags have long been, these symbols have long been uh, somewhat inflammatory, certainly, uh, certainly difficult to look at, uh, a reminder of uh, a shameful past in some, for some people. But um, you didn't dare talk about that. You didn't dare, uh, you know, uh, question Uh, their right to put up a confederate flag wherever they felt they ought to do so and then suddenly <clears throat> after uh, one of these mass shootings terrible mass shootings that, that happened at, a, at an african-american church uh, i believe it was north carolina where dozens of people were hurt and killed, awareness began to dawn. Because the shooter was a, 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 a very proactive uh, 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 white supremacist, I believe, but he certainly had Confederate flags everywhere on his uh, truck, everywhere. And an awareness began about these flags and all of a sudden after years and years of you can't take my flag away from me or you know uh, you know debates contentious debates about it laws began to be passed confederate flags could no longer fly over federal buildings seems reasonable since they lost that war <laughs> Uh, over a hundred years ago <laughs> um, and stores such as uh, Walmart began to stop selling those flags uh, even uh, Amazon stopped selling those flags all of a sudden as I said over after years and years of having to be, uh, well, sort of, I won't say assaulted, but